Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Creeper World 4. That is right, we are back yet again in the Kong section yet again for an L-Pack attack of the older variety. It is L-Pack Auto Build from Zuo, one of the older maps. Again, just taking a look, there's not that many left of L-Pack, so I figured let's just go for one of the older ones, you know, give it a go, see how it goes, and just have some fun. Uh, it's a pack with boosters, eggs, racks, mesh, and auto build. As auto build makes it harder, to, <coughs> harder to spawn timers of boosters, eggs, and rocks are reduced, which is nice. I do like that. That was uh, honestly that line of it being reduced is always one of the things that just makes me happy because it just means we get more eggs, we get more rocks, we get more boosters. Uh, mesh is still set to this. It's not so old that mesh is on the like original mesh plan. Well, let's just get going because we know we're of course gonna need to get things on the show. Uh, and I, wait. yes, I'm assuming this is where we're supposed to start. Right? We're supposed to start with a rock right there. Oh no, two rocks? Okay, two rocks right there. We do start with two rocks. This is an emitter that does kind of start. Uh, we, I guess we could have done with eggs, but it feels like they give us rocks for a reason there. And of course, we're going to want to kill this bad boy off with some Roculon. But of course, we need to get some creep going. AC is already a flow and they do have Shipulon, so, you know, we can't necessarily just go with Blobs. I would love to just go with Blobs if I could. However, we cannot. But, oh no, urns that get uh, destroyed go somewhere, so we are going to be sending these Urnulons elsewhere. It's okay, it's, you know, it's fantastic, but it is what it is. Luckily, the Berthas don't appear to be set to uh, auto. So we can actually see, like, this is getting destroyed, uh, or not being uh, birthed. Uh, so that's nice. You know, they're going places that they don't really matter. Where are they going? So, like, we have one landing over there, one landing on that, and one landing on that. So one's on that emitter, one's on that emitter, and one's on that skimulum. So, yeah, we have, we have some good news. Uh, now, that being said, even though it is an auto build uh, you know... I mean, if we kill stuff and it allows our creep to get in there, auto build isn't really, you know, going to impact us that much, right? So as long as we're quick with it, you know, we can get through the auto build. Although, will we get to that in time? We did indeed. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. We do have plenty of eggs, so we can do some shenanigan lands. Uh, I, we could go for the urn port, but honestly speaking, which is kind of funny, the urn port is helping us. Uh, which is funny, because as you can see, there are new uh, urn power here. So that means none of the uh, units are activated, would be my guess. Which means the urn port is essentially holding six urns that could just be elsewhere hurting us. So that's actually fine. Uh, yeah, it's not really a bad thing. I'm gonna, what am I doing? Turn up the speed. Let's go with four times speed, I guess. It's a, it's a, it's an L-pack attack. We, we, four times speed is fine, right? Now, right now, we are just sort of build a little thing because we have 500 creep caps. So we, we have like a cap that like we can't stop, right? Like the cap doesn't even matter. That being said, let's take a look at some of these emitters, right? We have this emitter that's five. We have this one that's at a 12. This one's at a nine. So this is a very good emitter. This is an extremely good emitter, of course, that we have to get to and work through. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah, let's let's pump this one up, because this one is terrible. This is at 24. 15 is uh, 0.5 seconds. Uh, every 0.03 is... Uh, or every uh, 3, I should say, is uh, 0.1 seconds. So this is actually at 0.3 seconds. This is effectively three times as strong as this one once it gets going. So we will want to get that going. That being said, we are still just in the process of going. This The AC really is flowing hard. Uh, are there breeder? Oh, there is breeder. I was like, what is causing the AC? Because I, I thought it was just these, but it's the breeder in the back. The breeder in the back causing the prob problemos. Uh, maybe we should go for some Eggulons, like over here, make this breed for us. I don't quite know. And I don't, the problem is, I don't know how good these blobs nests and other things are, right? Actually, what I should do is go for this. I should be upgrading this and just go for this emitter. It's going to be much more effective with the amount of power that we have. We have so many eggs that we can actually, you know, do it legit, right? We, we did pop from where we wanted to pop. And now we just pump this one up and we're pumping up one that's significantly better, right? Why, why, I wasted... 
how many points did I waste over there, right? Like, that's that's literally the worst thing that I could have freaking done, is just put all my points into that one, when we could have at least freed one that was, you know, significantly better. I mean, significantly. I mean, it's it's scary how much better that is. Uh, I mean, 0.8 seconds versus uh, 0.5. Huge, huge, huge. I wasn't even thinking. I was looking over here when I should have just been looking to the, the nearest, the dearest, right? But thankfully, we're able to progress from here. Like, if this was at 500, you know, it's, it's, oh my gosh, it's literally, uh, like, it's much better, it's much better, Ugh, it's ridiculous. It hurts, it hurts. That's okay, because now we can upgrade this one, and then we can get to the blobs. I think we're going to go for some blobulons. I want to, well, maybe I shouldn't even upgrade the blobs and just see how well we do. So let's, we'll do some egg pathing to do it for real, right? Blob nest two minutes. Increases by one. Okay, so blob nest, honestly speaking, not great. But we do have 80 eggs. And 80 eggs means I can do some pretty silly things. And we are chaining, right? So we can, like, come over here. Maybe kill that. Which will be nice. Boom. Which is nice. So now we've done some pretty... Actually... Didn't actually do as much as I thought we would. Well, that's okay. That's okay. There we go. Like, I don't even care about this blobs nest now. Like, two minutes is just too long for me to have blobs, right? They have they have earned snipers. They have big ships. They didn't have the ships at the end and everything. It might have been viable. But, realistically, two minutes just to have them all shot down really doesn't matter. So this blob's nest is not going to do anything. Spore launcher can't do anything down here. Honestly, air sacs can't do anything down there. Skimmers can't do anything over there. So realistically, we are we are at the mercy of the blobby lines. So that's a little bit of a sh or at the mercy of the creep, I suppose. So it's a little bit of a shame. We want to get rid of those mortars. I'm just trying to plant some creep over here, right? Just make, just get some creep breeding in that one spot. Uh, realistically, I guess we should take these out. All right, it's gonna breed right now, which is nice. So it's breeding up. It actually isn't doing as much as I was hoping in the breeding cycle. I was kind of hoping the breeding would last longer. Uh, it didn't. That's fine. Earned unit, get out of here. No one cares about you. Um. Where is power coming from? So they have an MRF right there. A little bit of a problem. Earned unit, get out of here, right? Boom. Uh, earned unit, you're gonna get out of here. Earned unit, you're gonna get out of here. Ooh, we have actually taken all that, which is nice. Good on us. Wow, I'm going to, like, this is so poor. Like, honestly speaking, we could have just, like, egged so much of the map already. I'm actually pretty impressed with uh, how well it's holding on. Oh, and we can... You know, I'll even get rid of the shield. That shield, annoying. So, yeah, it's not bad. We're just we're just kind of chilling right now. I, I think my goal is this emitter. I don't know why. I mean, realistically, we could just pump up our emitters and we would win, to be fair. Like, that's definitely the thing. But what's the fun in that, right? Let's get what is arguably the best emitter, and we will just be the ultimate, fingers crossed, right? Here's hoping. <gasps> no! Oh, no, I can't put him too close to the emitter. I don't want him to pop right now. I just want to put him down, right? So we are putting stuff down. Not letting it pop, of course. Uh, and I guess we can start the chain. Because, again, I just I do want to do this for realsies. So we want to chain it over. And boom, 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 boom. Everyone is happy with that. And, like, now we can just get some stuff in there. Wait. Oh, jeez. That was close. I, I might have popped because of reasons that I'm not happy for. Where is the null? Oh, the nullfire is down there. Uh, 
And, oh, did I really just waste my singular opportunity? There's so much AC in there. Holy moly. I didn't think it was that bad. Apparently, I just wasted everything. And I'm just... I'm okay with that. Uh, they are going to rebuild it. How big is this now? That is a big boy of meta. It's going to be very strong. It's going to hit. We're going to get it. It's going to be fine. Um, I did think I could get it, but I think realistically what I should have done is just rocked down here, right? Like, just put everything here, just rocked until I hit the... Oh, there's a nullifier at the top, too. But we can egg that nullifier super easily. That nullifier, not easily egged. So, that was my fault. That was my fault. I completely admit, I'm not taking this very seriously. So, I do apologize, right? Because, you know, I mean, maybe I should take it more seriously, right? I mean, it's... It is a map. It is destined to be... You know, it's, it's here for a purpose. Um, and that purpose right now is uh, to beat me. Is uh, I, I have I have messed up because I'm sure, like realistically, I should have gotten that. Should have really been spawning. And again, once you have enough eggs and mortars, you can probably take all of this anyway. I mean, the creep is the creep is victory, right? I mean, you can just see victory happening. The berthas don't matter. We can actually destroy them right now, but I don't want to. I want to get down here. Oh. Uh, which I also... Ooh, geez, let's do that. Let's do that. Fine. Uh, it was a little cheap. A little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we are going to get this area. And I think I'm going to just go like... Boom. No, I don't want that. I want the, I want the shield. Right? We got the shield. Everyone's happy. Beautiful stuff. The shield comes in. Everyone's doing it. Got loads of upgrades. Once we get over here, this entire area dies. Holy moly, is it going to be bad. Uh, great for us. Great for us. So we're putting all... I mean... Ooh, do we go for it? I mean, maybe we don't go for it, but we just sort of keep it going, right? We just, like, get rid of that earned mortar. Get out of here. You know, let the actual creep flow in. It's happy times here. And we're gonna want... We're gonna kill this with that. We're gonna try and kill this with rocks. But... That we could not do it, unfortunate. Oh, we did get it. We did get the nullifier. Boom. There we go. With the nullifier, this entire area is now ours. Easy days, right? I mean, now we have every 0.17. It's three times faster than our best emitter. And it's... Oh my god, I made it so strong. I made it so strong. So now, like, now we have the wave. Right? Look at how fast this is. I don't even know. Is this breeder breeding faster, too? Because it, it is just a... It's a 6x6 six six breeder, but... Is that just how fast this emitter is? I mean, it's a very strong emitter. Don't get me wrong. But I don't know if that's the emitter or a combination. But look at that. Literally, you take this, the map is over. Right? I mean, look at this. Holy... Wait, how... This emitter? Oh, that's also a 5. Right? Because that's a 5. We had two good emitters. What? Oh man. I didn't even realize. There we go. Everyone's happy with this emitter, too. Look at you, emitter. Right on the edge. You're doing the best. You're doing the most. And I'm super happy for it. Just a fun little jaunt, if you will. Right? Toss down some rocks, kill some units that had some urns on them. It doesn't, they can't even do it. Like, look, look at the amount of creep on the map. Right? Like, what are they going to do to this? Literally, all they can do is hope that their shields last, which they won't. You know, where's their, like, what is creating all of this AC? I don't even know. Actually, is, that, is that AC holding on? I'm actually pretty impressed that the AC has held on this long. Hmm, good on you, AC. I Oh, what happens is as soon as we get the shield, the AC leaks out and the mortars can actually do some damage. So, that's actually a little bit of a surprise. I figured, honestly, once it kind of happened, it was over. So that was on me. Again, taking it taking it very lightly. 
Uh, I was not expecting the uh, the AC to be this strong. Where is it? Is the AC just breeding from underneath this? I don't even know. Uh, we have killed, like, the front edge, but you can see, like, shield breaks and the AC pours out to the point where the shield can reform at least for a split second, right? Like, it, it's pretty kind of cool seeing, like, the waves of AC, like, bloop, working all the way down as the shield breaks in that, like, consecutive order. Uh, like, we just need to hold a shield area broken, right? Because once the, once the creep is in, there you go. Once the creep is in, it's over. So that's what you should do, or I should have done, is just hold, like, one point. It's gonna kill everything. We did it. It's a very fast map. It's also on a Wednesday night, so I gotta, you know, doing something quick. And it's an L-Pack, and there's not many left, and I was just trying to have some fun. I hope you had a little bit of fun, but again, definitely can do this better. My suggestion, you know, if you don't want, if you don't mind starting elsewhere, you can just start over here, right? Or start up here, right? I mean, can I mean, I'm just gonna check. I probably should have checked my time. That was terrible. I do apologize. I'm just curious. Like, is there a shield over here? Like, there isn't. So theoretically, I, mean, I just want to see this real fast, right? If we put a bunch of points over here, because one of the beauty of things is there's no, there's no actual. Earn, no urns over here right now, right? So all we're doing is prepping for, or like every time we kill something with an urn, it's going over here. So if we were to say go, I mean, we're going to need more than this, right? So boom. Do that. Is this enough to stay alive? Not quite yet, yet. Uh, maybe. Yeah, and you can just literally go from here, from the fastest emitter. And you're already next to the base, with less creep on it, and every point that you're putting in now makes it faster. We'll just do this really, really fast, because I already started, and it's going to be significantly faster, right? Because, again, multiple reasons. One, no urns over here yet. Two, we're only going to upgrade this one emitter, which is the fastest emitter that they have. Or they, I say. We have, I should say. Uh, three, there's not as much AC. Easy days already. Um, realistically, from here... No. Ah, right. Not enough, not enough. I wasn't sure if just putting a bunch right there would kill one, but it's not enough. But we were able to shake up the, the creep. Now, they are able to hold it back for now, but that's going to end, right? We're only at 400. Maybe I should go a little bit faster. I will admit the amount of AC in here is, it's not too much, but it is, it is a good amount, right? It's enough to hold us back for a bit, uh, for sure. Once we get through, of course. Uh, as our creep expands around, that's going to be the big element, to be fair. Um... And realistically, what I should, what you should do is destroy the M-Rift once uh, everything is kind of taken care of, right? Once we, once we take care of this outer ring, which we obviously will do, right? For sure. You can just take out the M-Rift. All the map loses power, of course. It's gonna, we're gonna kill everything. But that will also reduce the amount of power in here, which is going to hurt significantly more than it did last time. Like, you can see it actually moving backwards at a pretty good tick. It's going around this. Once this... Honestly, this shield is very annoying. Very annoying shield. Shield. Shield! Please. There we go. That's all I wanted. The shield. Just so the creep could go around. Was that so much to ask? And we're already hitting... Now we're hitting the wall, which is where we want to be, right? So our creep is at 720. I mean, if you remember, this was at, like, 1300. There's, like, a... 500 and an 800 over there all of that is just going into this one which is already up against the base we're gonna use it to take over the base in essence uh just for continuity sake wait can i oh i see this is where it kind of has to be so 
just for just for the sake of actually using the the creep. And that blows that. Beautiful. There we go. Don't want to do it quote unquote fair ish, kinda maybe. Uh, but now our creep is leaking around. We're breaking down the wall. You can actually see. And yeah, we just need to get to the edge. So the edge is coming. We are per like we've basically shut down their AC generation. We are going to give them a lot more urns soon. So we do want to be wary of that, but it doesn't really matter. What does matter is just breaking down the sidewall, right? So breaking this down. Oh my gosh, they all they all just jump on it. So maybe it's just breaking down like this. Like just just get to the edge, please. That's all I care about. Just get to the edge. Because then we can kill the Amrift and everyone's happy, right? So another one over there. Just let it get to the edge. Is there that much AC coming from that direction? Like, what is happening? Like, we have, like, the biggest emitter that we've had. And it can't get around this one little section, which is mind-boggling holy moly it's a, it's amazing how this curvature works because i would figure it'd just be so easy for it just to go bloop just blap it's that little bit that's all i care well you know that's all i care about so let's do it right all right so we're gonna do that we're gonna do this we're gonna do this and we're gonna line this like this and everyone's gonna be super duper happy and then we're gonna go like this and that's dead that's dead and the generation is gone there we go no m rift all generation is gone all emitters turn on which is nice uh realistically the real key though is the generation right the generation should be gone forever um go off the factory please oh actually we're in Huzzah! we're in factory is officially dead but yeah just just keep cutting the power I'm surprised they're not in a deficit, though. Like, the power is staying. Is there... There's a you. I see you. Will we be able to blow that up? We are. Okay, so blowing that up, now the deficit hits. That's what it is. I didn't even realize that. So actually taking out that power source is the key. So, yeah, that power source was obviously providing all the power. So that's another element indeed as well. Should have done that way earlier. You can do that right away, but there you go. That's the map in a nutshell. Not too bad, not too bad. Still could have done it much faster knowing that there was a power box there. I never actually looked close enough. Uh, just having some fun, you know, jo jostling around. Uh, there's, some, there's some faster times. There's like a 19 minute time, but honestly... Not that many faster. Like, there's a 19-minute time, and realistically, had I killed that power, I think we would have gotten there. So, there you go. This has been Elpic Auto Build. I hope you enjoyed it again. Just a fun little romp with one of the final Elpac attack maps out there. And I hope you are doing wonderfully. I will catch you next time. Take care.